it's a debate as old as time or roughly eight years whichever you consider older which language should you learn first c or rust to help me settle this debate i've recruited some friends of mine from college to give us their opinions on the topic sup my name's kyle uc berkeley 2022 go bears and i'm a rust programmer <laughs> he doesn't know what a seg vault is hey i'm chuck Carnegie Mellon, 1984, and I couldn't see. Now, before I tell you which language you should learn first, it's important that we talk about what C is versus what Rust is. C is the foundation of basically everything that's on the internet. Every device you hold in your pocket or runs in your house, like your router, your fridge, your phone, are all based off the C language. Actually, the entire world really runs based off of devices that are coded in C. Now, C is a language that's like literally 51 years old at this point. So it's a language that has definitely seen the test of time, but because of that, doesn't have a lot of the same safety features that other languages like Rust have. Actually, that's that's not really true. In C, you can do like whatever the hell you want. You can access memory at any address that's mapped to your process. You can allocate memory on the heap. You can free memory from the heap. You can do basically whatever you want in C. It's pretty awesome. But with great power comes great responsibility. Using C, you're literally able to do whatever you want, which means you're able to write code that is dangerous and unsafe if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, he's got a, he's got a point there. Now, Rust is an entirely different language that's meant to do the same tasks as C. Rust is defined as a systems programming language, which means that it's meant to run in places where C can also run. So think operating systems, embedded platforms, they need to be able to have high performance and Rust can give you that. All right, here's the deal. All I'm going to say, blazingly fast, type safe, keg stands. Yeah, listen, I know that no one uses the language. It's complicated to use. Now, while Rust is a young language, it is slowly coming into maturity. Rust actually last year in 2022 made its first appearance in the Linux kernel. It's, it's, in, it's in the Linux kernel, technically, and kind of Windows. What? That's the only place that it's used in real life? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine. I mean, safety. Rust does have a higher barrier to entry if you're not an experienced programmer. Things like the borrow checker, for example, make doing things that should be simple or feel simple in a language like C much more complicated in Rust. But there's a reason for that. Rust is not letting you write the code to compile it and violating the borrow checker because it's not letting you create unsafe code. This is an extremely important distinction between the two languages. One, C gives you all the power and all the responsibility. Rust takes some of that away from you, but also gives you guardrails that stops you from making dumb decisions. Frat parties, I'm doing them, you're not, f you. We, we can't say that. We can't say that here. Okay, my bad, my bad. So to answer the question of this video, which language should you learn? My answer is both. And before you get mad at me and say that I debated you with this video, the answer is both, but in a very particular order. The order you should learn these languages in is learn C first, learn Rust later. And there's a reason that I feel that way. Learning C first allows you to understand how processors work. By writing programs that use variables, that use pointers, that use structures, that read data off of a file, off of the network, you learn the fundamentals of how computers work. Learning C, even if you don't use C, makes you a better programmer. You know the ins and outs, only one layer above assembly of what is going on inside of the processor. That is so important for a programmer to know. You literally have to know that to be an effective programmer. And I would argue any field, except for maybe web, where they just don't care about memory performance anymore. And, and every web app that I see takes up gigabytes in my browser. But other than web, you need to know how the computer works. And that's really what you get from C. Have you heard of garbage collection? Who gives a shit? Now, Rust, on the other hand, should be learned second. The reason it should be learned second is because Rust puts guardrails around you that may be frustrating if you don't understand why they're there. By learning C first, you will make mistakes. You are going to write code that is gonna crash your computer. You're gonna crash your program. You're gonna write network code that's vulnerable to buffer overflow attacks. You're, you're gonna make a whole bunch of mistakes. You're then gonna go and from C and you're gonna go learn Rust and be like, wow, I cannot make these mistakes again. No matter how hard I try in Rust, once the code compiles, I can't make my code vulnerable. By doing that, you'll take the knowledge that C gives you 
and the power that Rust gives you and take that to your next job and be a 10x engineer. I guarantee it. But before you do that, go watch this video that will also help you in your programming journey. Click.